Crusher Point. This is J-Man here with another shield video for Blake 7. This one's going to get a bloody high score. It is a very sad episode and it's one of the few episodes of TV where I actually really felt bad that a character died and it kind of sucked. I was like, what the heck? Um, but this is the way Terry Nation does his things. He sets all this stuff up and you, you get all excited about characters and then boom, they're gone. Literally, episode one, that lawyer and his wife were awesome, done, dead, in, immediately. So this is a tough one. Uh, this, of course, is the death of Gan. Um, his last words were, I'm not worth dying for, or something like, oh my god, like, wow. What a great character. He's just a good, solid guy. He's friendly, helps you out. Um, oh, an amazing character. I understand that he was kind of not doing as much as some of the other characters, like Villa as the, the thief and opens up doors and, you know... And then Avon is all the computer stuff and we've got your pilot. And I get that he was kind of maybe left in the background a bit, but they could have maybe done a bit more with him. But in any case, he's dead. It sucks. Um, the storyline here is uh, Kasabi, who is this freedom fighter that Blake is trying to uh, connect with. And turns out that Kasabi was actually Servaland's uh, superior and trained her and then Servaland surpassed her and, 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 you know, became bad or whatever. Um, so we're going to review this using my space system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two is the best. Uh, story is two out of two, of course. So the big main thing is that Blake needs to contact Kasabi so that he could go to control, which is what it sounds like, the control center of the Federation. It's buried way deep down the ground. There's this forbidden zone, which is just like wired you step on it, you, you die. You can cut the wires, but they self-repair in about eight seconds. So if you're even going to get to the entrance, you got to pass this field of this forbidden zone thing. And they do pass it um, in a really clever way. They kind of blast a line and then, and then they, they have to run. And they got about eight seconds before it repairs itself. Um, wow, it was a great story. Uh, when you come to the uh, bottom of control, it's empty. It turns out they it was there about 30 years ago. They moved it, and and they kept they they kept the rumors alive that it's there. They didn't really you know they they openly admitted oh it's there, but you'll never get it you know. Um, so doubly sad ending. Uh, man, I love this story. Uh, the pacing is two out of two, big time. Um, there is a lot of tension crossing that forbidden zone. Um, even meeting up with the with the faction, the girl Kasabi gets captured. You're like, what's going to happen with her? Is she going to give Blake up? Um, yeah, uh, like everyone's on fire in this one. Avon, uh, I'll get the characters. Uh, like, yeah, oh, it's just it, 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 this one's a nail biter. It's great. Um, the artistry, I'm going to give it a two out of two. They did a great job of of making the the world come to life here. The Forbidden Zone stuff is cool. The wires reform once they get blasted. That's kind of neat. Um, they did it like it made you feel like it was really deep down because you had to keep going down and there's there's different colors. Um, if you remember the movie Andromeda Strain um, or the book, which I've read the book and seen the movie, and it's, both are amazing. Um, they have different color zones in each in each as you get lower into the ground. So this is kind of kind of like that. Um, some it's almost like a D and D adventure. You have to go through different things and you have to like crawl over the floor or you have to climb over the floor. All this kind of neat stuff. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Um, awesome. The characters, the characters are two out of two big time. I love everybody in this show. Jenna comes in for the save when you think all is lost. That was great. Uh, I like Travis in this one. He's, he's, he's just like determined to get Blake. He doesn't care. Um, Servalan, of course, is amazing as always. Uh, Gan, we know with the death is tough. Uh, everyone was great. I want to point out a couple of really great. Avon's my favorite character of all time. Well, he's my fa He's the best character ever. My favorite character is Superman, but Avon's in my top favorite characters. If you go by TV, then he's definitely my favorite character um, of all of television. And um, great moments here with Avon because there's a there, there's a deal to say, hey, listen, the guys are going along with you. And Avon's like, well, I'm going to go along with you, but I'm going along with you because once we succeed, you'll have to lead this, you know, rebellion. And while you're leading this rebellion, you're not going to have time to be on the Liberator doing stuff. So I want the Liberator. Uh, so that's sort of why I'm going along with it. And then when Blake, uh, this is a great moment. Um, the Gan death was very sad, but this moment really got me. Um, 
where Blake finally comes down to the control and realizes it's not there. And he's like, what the hell? And he actually falls to his knees and he's like, my God, it's like, this is for, for nothing. Avon immediately goes down to, to, to like help him. It, it, it's like, and he saved Blake before a few times. I'm telling you that the, the, just the little details like this, it, it, I, the first time I saw, this is my third time. The first time I saw it, I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. My wife picked up on it. I think the second time, even the second time I didn't pick up on it. She picked up on it. She's like, Hey, did you notice that Avon was the first one to like, kind of try to help him? I was like, Oh my God, you're right. Guys, like, this is like killer good stuff, man. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the enjoyment factor is two out of two. If you didn't guess, uh, I'm giving this a 10. I like, look, Again, I knew this was going to be an impossible task for me to try to be as objective as I possibly can be on this show, but I, it means so much to me that I just want to say everything is 10 out of 10 and leave it at that. I know people don't like season four. I don't care. I think it's awesome. So there you go. I'm, and I'm going to be objective. I'm going to be the best I can be. Um, it's going to be tough after season two because we do lose, you know, an important member of the cast. Um, however, because I love Avon so much, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily affect me the way it would affect others so that's my review it's a 10 out of 10 easy uh let me know in the comments what you thought um if you like this kind of stuff please like the video share it out like right let's get blake seven going you know i certainly don't want to remake or if they're going to remake it they better call me and i better be uh the supervisor on that um but uh, nobody can you can't recast how are you going to recast avon what the heck that's crazy Anyway, maybe they could do Avon's son or something. I, God, I don't know. Don't, you know what? Don't do it. Don't, don't even bother. Anyways, that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, until next time.